well, Merry Christmas, um, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Festus Day, um, Happy any Judeo-Christian or non-Judeo-Christian holiday that you happen to be celebrating in December. Um, got a happy surprise to today um, on New Year's Eve. I was riding down in my car and I was fiddling with my Pioneer stereo um, and uh, after installing the updates from Waze, I noticed that it's now working. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you. If you like this video, please click on the like button below and uh, also, you can subscribe if you wish and um, check out my apps. They're available in the Apple App Store. They include the Project Organizer and the Pro version, the Job Hunt app and the Pro version, the Class Organizer app and the Pro version, and the Student Organizer Pro apps. So whether you have a uh, Pioneer AVH uh, X57, uh, or I'm sorry, 5800 BHS, an AVH X4800 BS, an AVH X3800 BHS, a AVH X2800 BS, or an AVH X1800 S, uh, this should work for you now. Um, ever since the upgrade to iOS 11, which uh, was sometime um, around the summer time frame, late summer, there's the Pioneer integration with Waze stopped working. And Waze was not uh, displaying on my heads-up display all through um, June, July, August, September. October, November, and now December. So it's been probably uh, at least six months since uh, Waze has been working. And then suddenly I got a happy surprise that um, I was driving for about 2.5 hours, two and a half hours uh, on New Year's Eve. And I was fiddling with the radio and I did my updates. I restarted my phone, recycled the phone, and uh, installed the updates and I stopped at a rest area, disconnected the phone, went into the rest area, came back out, plugged the phone back in, and all of a sudden, um, Waze started displaying on the heads-up display again. Um, and this is the first time in about six months that it's uh, displayed. So I assume it's the uh, it was the update. And the update, uh, which I'll show you on the phone, it was um, uh, from Waze. Uh, got it working again, so I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now So this is my pot pioneer head unit and For some time now it's been displaying uh, just kind of a blank screen When I integrate it with Waze. so the way I integrate it with Waze is I plug a, I have the cord coming out of the um, The heads-up unit from the back and I have that plugged into my adapter cable and I plug that into my phone and um, when I'm running the car, it uh, displays ways on the heads-up unit. But again, it hasn't worked for the last seven months. Now it's working again. So the way it works for me is when I'm running the, the, the thing in um, mode with uh, the radio and such, I press this button right here. That launches the apps, and then I can touch the iPhone integration and now the radio will play and typically I'll get this mess which I could press OK to let me try that again and it'll pop up with a message on my phone and I click I touch the OK button and that'll pop up the Waze app
Now your um, Pioneer system may not be working quite like this, particularly if you followed the instructions in the manual, um, which I've got right here, um, and wired it according to the directions. The way they uh, expect you to wire it is that you wire it into the brake light that's associated with your parking brake or your foot brake on the dashboard. And when you suppress your brake or you set your parking brake, then the heads up display will display for you. I kind of like the ways to work when I'm actually driving the car. So I don't recommend this because it's not the way they suggest in the manual. But the way I did it was there is a wiring, a wire that goes into the back of the unit that's used for the dimmer switch. So when you turn on the headlights, it sends electricity through that wire. And as a result, the lights on the Pioneer system dim automatically. So if you bridge that wire with the brake wire, you'll find that when you turn on the headlights, the heads up display works. So then your requirement would only be that you actually run the headlights while you're driving the vehicle and then your heads up display will display while you're driving. That seemed like the simplest solution for me. You could also bridge it into another 12 volt power line or something like that if you wanted them to the heads up to display weighs whether it was uh, headlights on or headlights off. That's up to you. And again, I don't recommend this. Um, it's only if you want your heads up display to display weighs information while you're actually driving.